All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you um, my natural hair journey like thus far. Um, it has been three years and 11 months. Oh my God, I could have said in December, it, it's gonna be my, that was nasty. I could have said four years in December, but I'm extra. So of course I had to give you the runaround. Where should I get started? Okay, so the, like the majority of my life, my hair was natural. Uh, my mom, she just like strained it here and there and braided it, you know, like average stuff. She didn't put any like chemicals in my hair. Um, I wanna say like, mm, like ninth, eighth grade, ninth grade, I started like coloring my hair on my own and stuff. So that was cool. I did a lot of experimenting. And then once I got in high school, like it was full on like every color I can think of, honestly. Um, and then in 10th grade, so like 2007, um, my mom, she took me to a hair salon. Side note, uh, my mom is black and my dad is Puerto Rican. I don't know if that has anything to do. I just, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, she took me to a hair salon and then, um, I got a keratin treatment. So in Florida, I am from Florida, um, y'all know my Floridians, what's up? That it is hard to keep your hair straight if your hair is not naturally straight. Like, it's just impossible. It was cool because the keratin treatment, like, it, you know, it helped me keep my hair straight, but also curly at the same time. Not at the same time because that would be a mess, but, um, you know, to keep it curly. So I was able to, like, go back and forth, which was cool. Um, and I feel like that's when the damage kind of started because, um, you know, at the end of the day, keratin is much better than using like a relaxer, but it's still a chemical and it still does do some kind of damage. And then I was um, straightening my hair much more frequently. So, of course, like that all played a factor. So um, I did that up until like 2010. But then I switched to hair salons, which first of all, if you don't know about the hair salon, you just switch it. My mom was like, oh, let's go to this one. And I was like, OK, so um mistake because when I was getting it done like it was burning and first of all I'm not an expert um but I knew like it was not supposed to be burning like that and then that was the last time and after let me readjust myself Jesus after I went there like it didn't grow my hair didn't grow past like right here and I was devastated I was like Jesus take the wheel and then um 2010 was a dark year I found weaves and wigs and there's nothing wrong with weaves and wigs don't even like don't go there if there's nothing wrong with it but the way that i like found it i was like yes and then i was trying so many new things because it was so new to me it was like it was just a mess like it was just you will never see throwback thursday pictures of 2010 you just won't don't ask me it just won't happen you can go look for them but they're not i'm not going to present them to you by like on my own will like it just won't happen so there there's that okay oh just thinking about it oh yeah so that happened and then 2011 i got pre 2011 2011 i got pregnant with my daughter madison my little angel um and then my hair grew i mean like being pregnant like if y'all know if you've been pregnant um you know like it grows so that's cool um but so it grew to like maybe like right here but I was still like straightening it and I was wearing like, you know, half, you know, still like, you know, dabbling in, you know, wigs and weaves and stuff. So that happened and then, um, so I had my daughter and then the next month, December, I had her in November. It's crazy that she's going to be four this, year, uh, this, this month. Like that's crazy. So, um, at that moment, I really didn't know about like hair patterns and all that stuff, but eventually I was like, okay, maybe I'm like 3B, 3C. Um, I found this girl and she was doing like her natural hair journey and it was like her four year and it's crazy that I'm doing my four year right now It's crazy how like the universe works and like it just uh, That's another that's for another day and then I show my sister and then I was like I'm gonna cut my hair and she was like, okay she, Okay, so <laughs> The next literally the next morning I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like this got to go. I need to get there. So I had like this much, like this much new growth. I, mm -mm, I just cut, just cut everything off, and it looked I. I looked all kinds of crazy. It was just a mess. So um, 
like I knew this Dominican salon like kind of close to my house and I was like I need to get there and then she gave me like a tapered cut yeah she gave me like a tapered cut and um, I liked it because it was like short back here and then it was kind of it maybe went to like maybe right here like when I pulled it down um, and on the sides it was short I mean I didn't have to cut it all off because I had I had more new growth than that but I just wanted to see my hair um, short because I've never seen it and I just really wanted to start super fresh like super fresh um, super blast, super fresh. Since I did that big chop in December of 2011, um, I went to a hair salon once. Um, I dyed my hair maybe like three, three or four times. Um, it hasn't been in the past like couple years. It was like in the beginning when my hair was like, it was like this and shorter. That's when I kind of played around with hair, um, hair colors or whatever. Um, but for the most part, I had the same like this is this is all, like my natural hair color like i just don't um i do have ends uh like ombre like ends but that's just i've just grown out my hair like because when my hair was shorter i had it like kind of that color but it's faded quite a bit i mean it's been like three years three two -ish years so i just keep it like that i've been thinking about maybe like switching it up but i was like no i i don't know i just like i just like my dark hair on me honestly so does my mom she's like i like you with dark hair and i'm like i know i do too shout out to my mom i love her okay anyways back to, back to it that was a hard ass snap at the end of this video i'm gonna be putting like um you know like pictures of my progression i'm not like that edit savvy where i can be like down here and this as I'm like doing the video I can't have like another video playing down here or I can't have like a I haven't I haven't mastered that I'll get there guys just let me get there can you let me live and get there thanks yeah I appreciate I really appreciate that so yeah I just want to say um if you're if you're thinking about transitioning or big chop do the big chop just do it just cut it off just go for it just go just do it just do it just do it like like why why are you holding on to all of that excess just start fresh just start new just do it you know it'll grow and it will grow back and um you know i don't have any like magical trick as to how to get my hair to grow faster i honestly just let it grow and after like maybe six months, I just kind of forgot about it. You know, I just, I didn't forget about it. Of course I did what I had to do to maintain it, but I just forgot about it. You know, just live your life. Like I had a newborn and then eventually I got a job and you know, I have a job now. And I, you know, girl, I got stuff to do. I don't got time to be worrying about how fast my hair is growing. You know what I mean? So just, you know at first of course you're like oh my god and that's how i was i was link checking like every two months kind of and i would take pictures but after a while i was like i can't i'm lazy i can't do i can't do this no more i just can't that's that's pretty much it um i hope you guys are inspired if you are in that limbo of like dang should i go natural should i not it is so liberating it feels so great where i don't really have to do much to my hair i don't i don't mess with it I annually literally annually like it when December comes I'm like all right let me set aside a week to have my hair straightened and that's it that's honestly that's because I love my I love my curly hair so much that I just I love it curly so um my battery is about to die so before it shuts off I'm gonna say bye before it forces itself off leave some requests down below like if you want to see any any like hair videos any like you know anything anything just let me know i'd love to hear your feedback um thank you guys for the love so far like it's so exciting to see so much great feedback so um i hope to see you guys in the next video okay bye yes we're we're yes